everyone, it's Miss Marissa. I hope you are all having fun and staying well at home with your families. We have a very important and wonderful holiday coming up. And does anyone know what's coming up soon? No? Yep. Yeah. Mother's Day, that's right. And Mother's Day is one of my favorite holidays and I love to celebrate it with my children as well as my mom and grandma. And I thought that in honor of Mother's Day, I would read to you a story about a mom, the love between a mom and her son. So the book I'm going to read to you today is I Love You Stinky Face by Lisa McCourt, a special permission uh, given by Scholastic. I love you, my wonderful child, said Mama as she tucked me in, but I had a question. Mama, what if I were a big, scary ape? Would you still love me then? If you were a big, scary ape, I would comb your whole hairy self to make sure you didn't have any tangles. And I would make your birthday cake out of bananas. And I would tell you, I love you, my big, scary ape. But mama, but mama, what if I were a super smelly skunk and I smelled so bad that my name was Stinky Face? Then I would give you a bath and sprinkle you with sweet smelling powder. And if you still smell bad, I wouldn't mind. And I would hug you tight, whisper in your ear, I love you, Stinky Face. But mama, but mama, what if I were an alligator with big sharp teeth that could bite your head off? Then I would buy you a bigger toothbrush for your big teeth and I would make sure that you brush them every night so they'd stay healthy and strong. And if you had a sore throat, I would stick my head right inside your enormous jaws to make sure you were okay. And I would say, I love you, my ferocious alligator. But mama, what if I were a terrible meat-eating dinosaur with razor-sharp claws that ripped my sheets to shreds every night while I slept? Then I would give you plenty of meat to eat, if that's what you liked, and I would sew your sheets back together every day because after all, ripping them would be an accident. And I would tuck you into your newly mended sheets every night and say, I love you, my sweet, terrible dinosaur. But mama, but mama, what if I were a swamp creature with slimy, smelly seaweed hanging from my body and I couldn't ever leave the swamp or I would die? Then I would build a house right next to the swamp and I would stay with you and take care of you always. And when you splashed to the surface, I would say, I love you, my slimy little swamp monster. But mama, but mama, what if I were a green alien from Mars and I ate bugs instead of peanut butter? Ew. Then I would dress you in colors that showed off your nice green skin. And I would pack your lunchbox with beetles and spiders and ants and grasshoppers and the tastiest bugs you ever had. And I would pack a note with all the bugs that said, I love you, little greenie. Bon appetit. But mama, but mama, what if I were a cyclops and I had just one big, gigantic eye in the middle of my head? Then I would look right into your gigantic eye and say, I love you, my little Cyclops. 
and I would sing you a lullaby until your one gigantic eyelid got droopier and droopier and it finally closed and you fell fast asleep. I love you, Mama, and I love you, my wonderful child. The end. So now I have a Mother's Day craft for us to make for our moms for Mother's Day. We are going to be making paper scraps Mother's Day signs. And we are going to need the following materials. So you can ask your grown-ups to get you the following things to make this craft. First, you're going to need scrap paper. Any scrap paper will do. You can have construction paper, wrapping paper, any scrapbooking paper, newspaper, old magazines, any sort of paper will do. You will also need one piece of plain white construction paper. Doesn't have to be white. If you don't have white, you can use any plain color. You will also need one black marker, a pair of scissors, be sure to ask your grown-up to get you scissors and just supervise with your scissors. You will also need one glue stick. If you don't have a glue stick, you can use regular glue or tape, anything that will stick the paper to the construction paper. So, now that we know our materials, let's get started. Step one, you're going to take your scrap paper and your black marker and you're going to draw flowers. Lots and lots of flowers, all different shapes, types, any kind of flowers you'd like. So you're going to draw all sorts of flowers on your scrap paper and then you're going to cut them out. Now, if you have any trouble cutting out your flowers, ask your grown-up to help you. So, I'm going to cut out my flower and then I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm going to glue my flower onto my plain construction paper. And after I glue on all my different flowers onto the construction paper, I am going to take my black marker and I am going to draw stems and little leaves all underneath our flowers. Then when you've made your masterpiece bouquet, you can write a little Mother's Day message. You can write Happy Mother's Day. You can write a little note, I love you mom. You can write your name. And this will be the finished product. And you can give this to your moms on Mother's Day and brighten up their day for sure with this lovely flower bouquet sign made out of beautiful scrap paper. So that's it for today's story time. I hope you had fun. I had fun with you and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.